John G. Smale was born on August 1st, 1927, in Ontario, Canada. His parents moved to Illinois during the Depression of the 1930s. John's working career started at an early age. He had various jobs, working as a paper boy, in a grocery store, and a novelty company. He even wrote two books, which helped pay for his college education. Smale attended Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. His parents thought it would be a good idea to have a doctor in the family. But after a year of college chemistry, Smale switched his major to business and graduated in 1949. Fresh out of college, he worked in sales for the Vic Chemical Company. Then he tried the nose drop business, working for Bio Research, where he was in charge of marketing. However, in 1952, when the company came on tough financial times and Smale's paychecks began to bounce, he knew it was time to move on. An ad in the Chicago Tribune for brand management positions at P&G caught his eye and brought him to Cincinnati. Smale started as assistant brand manager on a new toothpaste called Gleam. In six years, he helped build its business to a 20% market share. Next, he moved to Crest, and as an associate advertising manager in 1960, he successfully gained the American Dental Association recommendation of Crest Toothpaste. He continued to move into positions of greater responsibility in the toilet goods division, and by 1967 had been named division vice president. During the 60s, the division launched new brands such as Head & Shoulders, Scope Mouthwash, and Pampers Disposable Diapers. Smale's progress through the company was steady, being elected to the Procter & Gamble Board of Directors in 1972 and becoming president in 1974. When Smale assumed the role of chief executive on January 5th, 1981, he brought with him more than 28 years of P&G experience and training. Under the leadership of John Smale, the 80s became a decade of change and achievement at P&G. To realize his goals, Smale knew it meant taking the best of the past, a focus on the long term, a commitment to product innovation, and a history of promotion from within and grafting onto it a management style that called for pushing authority down, speeding up decisions, and getting closer to the customer. Smale began a restructuring program in order to respond to the needs of the changing marketplace. P&G's sales force began to focus even more on the needs of the customer. Smale created the Category Management System, in which the category manager has total profit and loss responsibility for an entire product line. Under Smale, P&G expanded from 25 to 39 product categories with great success stories in detergent, paper products, and dentifrice products, as well as advancements into new fields, including health and personal care, and over-the-counter and prescription pharmaceuticals. In addition, P&G's expansion in the international market continued. International sales grew to represent over 40% of the company's total sales volume. The world became P&G's marketplace. When John Smale stepped down as chief executive on December 31, 1990, P&G sales had grown from 17 billion to 24 billion during his tenure, while setting record profits. Smale remains on P&G's board of directors and as chairman of the executive committee. He is also a member of a number of corporations and organizations, including General Motors, J.P. Morgan and Company, and the United Negro College Fund. Away from the office, John and his wife Phyllis love to take long walks around Hyde Park. Three of their four children live in Cincinnati, and he enjoys family gatherings when his many duties allow him a free weekend at home. Vacation for Smale usually means fly fishing, one of his passions. Smale's dedication to education has led him to be extremely active in volunteer efforts in that area including chairing a $100 million capital fundraising campaign for his alma mater, and even trying his hand at some teaching at Miami's Graduate School of Business. Mr. Smale has also given a great deal of himself to the Cincinnati community. Under Smale's leadership, P&G continued to contribute to the city in terms of employee involvement and contributions, including donating $2 million to construct the Procter & Gamble Performance Pavilion on the riverfront, 
He has been involved in numerous Cincinnati organizations, including serving as chairman of the Cincinnati Infrastructure Commission, which, under his direction, has initiated critical improvements in the city's roads, parks, and sanitation systems. John Smale took the helm at P&G when the marketplace was demanding drastic changes. Smale met those changes by aggressively moving the company into new product lines and balancing innovation with steady conservatism. The result has provided P&G with the groundwork for strong growth into the year 2000 and beyond. Smale has always attributed his and the company's success to the people. He says, our people and their extension of our character as a company are our most important assets. Today, John Smale continues to leave his mark on the business world. His vision, commitment to quality, and people are fine examples of Cincinnati's proud tradition of business excellence.